A tier for Osir. Heroic difficulty. Let's see what artifact we start off with. The goal here is to kill Blue. I don't care that much about the tier of Asher. I just want to kill Blue. What do we get? Ooh! Ha! Sack of Endless Gold. That, that's actually kind of a useful one. Normally you get like plus two attack or plus one to luck. You know, there's things like that, but that'll do. Okay, so let's think here. The main goal of this is to build up this base, get treants, but also build up towards capital. So you want the cheap things in a way. Tavern might be worth picking up just for the purpose of seeing if there's a secondary hero that also has... Oh, the blacksmith's nice though, because of the... Um, the uh, well, the first aid tent. Let's try the tavern, see what heroes... Bad heroes. Most of them are going to be bad, to be fair. But those heroes suck. I mean, you could use these guy for the rangers if you really wanted. It's not terrible. It certainly is quite a few rangers, but they don't normally do that much damage. Uh, imps and spirits. So I'm going to go straight to the second base. I've played this map before. I know where the things are. It's an incredibly difficult map to actually kill blue. In fact, it's almost near impossible. Probably is impossible, but I'm still going to try to do it on the heroic difficulty. I want to kill blue. I'm not happy. I managed to beat this map, get in the tier of Ash here, but I didn't get to kill blue. And blue must die. He has to die. So let's grab the bits and get stuck. Oh, my, what? Oh, look at that. It's going to cost me gold. <laughs> Now, that's the first time I've ever seen creatures try to join. I don't even have Diplomacy. I've got Luck and Avenger. Um, I don't think I want 55 imps. For f I mean, it gives you a bit of a leg up, but I don't think you want that. We kill them. It's a shame they aren't range units then or something. Could have had that join me early game. That would have made a massive difference. What a start that would have been. Imagine if these guys joined me. They would have been better. For four thousand I mean four thousand gold is a lot for that. That's an interesting start. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, let's get blacksmith. Let's come in. I'm gonna pick up I'm almost tempted to buy the ammo cart as well, just for unlimited ammo. So I don't have to worry about my dudes running out of ammo. You could buy all of this, but I don't know if I can afford that, really. I think I've got to stay with the cheap stuff for now. It's tempting. I'll get by. Okay. These sprites want to fight. That's bad news for me, because I don't want to fight them. In fact, they're so damn quick, I'm not even sure if I can kill them. They're the upgraded ones. Can free druids take those sprites? That's the question. So we had a interesting start there. That's a good start. I'll take it. Oh, we should be able to do it since uh, Lightning Bolt is Lightning Bolt. And she's no closer. She's going to try Wasp Swarm again, but it's going to do less damage now. Or Magic Resistance is just going to say no. So these guys have an innate magic resistance, do they? Too late now for the sprites. Oh. Okay. So I'm just doing the very starting bit, and then I'm going to go straight over, basically, to the second base. Speaking of which, the first base, you could get a mage guild, so you got some spells, but that's not that relevant. Build the town hall, get as much gold as ticking as possible. Defense, I might take it. I want summoning magic, though. Um, I was kind of hoping to get logistics. But I'm thinking of taking defense. Overtaking, um... Sorcery. Because I'm going summoning magic. And summoning, you normally just want to conjure the phoenix. Conjure the... 
you know, summon some elementals, but you're not doing, you're not worried about casting too much. Not like dark magic. I like dark magic, but last time I did dark magic on this map, um, the computer didn't have anything useful for me at all. They were terrible. I didn't get blind. I didn't get um, frenzy. I didn't get puppet master. So theoretically, dark magic is like a really good way to sort of beat the computer if the computer's like too hard. But if you don't get the actual abilities, then dark magic does nothing. So there's the mission here to basically uh, collect all the signposts. We're just skipping those because I'm just trying to see if I can do a successful run. Otherwise, uh, all of this is for nothing anyway. Marketplace leads towards resources. Debatable whether I get the resource silo this time. At least not just yet. But I could get the Mystic Pond, which is like some resources at the end of the week. And that's a lot cheaper. Hmm. Blood Furies. Depends how many there are. Whether I can just solo them with the Druids. Maybe. If I stick my... There we go. And get rid of those ones. Don't know if I'm going to be here for part two, and I appreciate your streams. All right, thank you. Positive Gavin. Positive Gavin. Debatable whether I even want these fairies here. Because uh, they're just liable. The best thing to do would be to move them up and then try to kill these before they can... Oof. That's not a great old amount of damage, is it? That's good. But this one's still going to get a hit. Ah, there you go. And then definitely attack these, because they don't retaliate. Yeah, that'll do it. I'll just use the lightning bolt to get the guaranteed kill. You can't get Frenzy and Puppet Master. Faction magic guilds have only two. Oh yeah, but I'm talking about the bases at the bottom. There's Warlock bases. And they normally give Destructive and... Dark Magic. But they were given Destructive and Summoning Magic for some reason. I saw a Phoenix. Also, Logistics is something we do want. Because we want Pathfinding so we can actually move. If you don't get Pathfinding, this is a horrible, horrible level. And I never got Pathfinding. So I would like to see what this map could be like with Pathfinding. Because you move at one mile an hour. Hmm. I could possibly do Golems. They're kind of crappy. That's a pretty good start. Creeps are pretty good actually on this map so far. Spells ain't going to do much though. Well, 14 damage actually. Versus 4 to 5 damage. So it's still more than nothing. going to be slow going. I'm almost not going to bother taking shots of these guys because I only get 12 shots. I might wait till they get closer. I actually, to be fair, they do 2 to 4 damage. And if they get luck, then they're going to kill a lot more. You can kill these with pretty much the sprites because they have AoE damage. So I'm going to soften all of them. Like I can AoE up the top there. And then move the sprites again, for example. If I killed those ones, I could just move the sprites at the top right and have them going back and forth. See if we can get enough damage to kill these. Mm, not quite. Oh, actually, yes. That'll do. So these girls will come up here. And then these guys might want to come over for them. Time will tell. A bit of the old manipulation. Don't mind if I do. No AoE attack though, unfortunately. 
We have eight shots left. Could probably just take a couple more shots. And then I've got to think about what I'm doing next. Probably pulling back with the sprites. Probably play it safe, even though I think they might get their turn before the golems. Well, they don't actually. Yeah, I would have lost some sprites then. I can actually move the druids in front as well to tank. Because they they got a fair chunk of health, like 35 health. 34. Capture one dark elf town, problem solved. Ugh, not quite that easy. Should be able to attack and then get back. I got clean shots, but it's an easy target. So that's kind of annoying. Suppose I'll take it. I'm going to move one druid just a little bit. I'm going to wait. He's going to pull back. Hello there, Phil Dor. How are you? Put these druids a little bit more forward. Get my cheeky AoE. I did play this one very safe. Probably wasn't that necessary. That needs to be pathfinding. I've already got 20% damage reduction from advanced defense. So that's alright. Let's get the Mystic Pond. The next one's kind of the tricky one. You can just get like the fairies. It only costs like 300 gold and 5 lumber. Or the Hunter Cabins. Because you're going to want those anyway, building up over time. It just costs lumber. That's the only downside of those. Good thing about this is it's more experience. Oh, you can't do war dancers. They're too, they're too tough. I don't like war dancers, but they're too strong. There's no way to do war dancers. A footman are doable, though. I will try one attempt on the war dancers, but I think it's impossible. I just have to try to use the druids or get lucky. They just do good. I can split a fairy as well to suicide one of those. Hmm. That might be doable then. Because I can focus the ones at the top and suicide one at the bottom. Although. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, let's give this a try. Actually, we might be okay. It's one if if they get into like numbers of like forty plus, they become a bit too hard at this stage. But this might. I'm still going to take a hit on something. That's the only thing I don't like. Something's going to hit me. That's good. So it's down here now. Oh yeah, some fairies, but. Yeah, I think that's acceptable. How much damage did I take, actually? I don't know, actually. We, I think we can do this and not lose anything. Somewhat. You want the druids to tank, really. And you need fairies to get, like, a extra hitting or something and then get back over here but I don't know I think the fairies are the tricky part here of keeping them without losing them by far the trickiest part it's 
See, I'm going to move the fairies up here. I could have actually done wasp swarm, actually. Yeah, I think this can be done. I just got to... I've got to wiggle a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I think you keep the fairies out of this. Yep. They're just a liability. Or... I keep the fairies in it, but they stay at that top left position. And they do a fairy swarm. Just for a tiny bit of extra damage. Ah, <sighs> that's what it will have to be. Okay, I can even have a druid down there. But it means that these are more exposed. Oh, wow. Clean shot. Yep, that looks good. Huzzah. I didn't lose... Yep, this is great. The more experience I can soak up, the better. There's more points towards logistics and all of that. Don't get me wrong, I'm still heading towards the second base. The second base is just follow the road. This is just a slight detour, and it's still getting me results. Also, there's zombies over here. Normally there's gargoyles here, so you can't really do this crit camp without losing something. Because gargoyles are hella tanky. Zombies might be more doable. Yeah, these creeps are much better. You might need to sort of do this map a few times if you're trying to do it yourself to see if you can get a result. Where the odds are a little bit more stacked in your favor. Trust me, the computer will have no qualms with uh, cheating if it can. Nice. For some reason, this guy only edged forward a tiny bit. <laughs> so that's good for me. There's still a lot of these to kill, though. So I'm not sure. I'm not going to attack with these guys again. they got six shots left, so I can attack these guys. And then they'll get, like, two shots when those guys get closer. If they kill one fairy, that's alright. Because i still got stuff to kill here. So it's still not over. Also, where did they get that buff from? Enraged? Oh. I see. Bit risky to attack. I'm going to wait. Oh, they're still only moving by a tiny bit. But I'm going to run out of shots anyway. But that's good for me still. Hmm. How many shots? Four. I, I prefer to have clean shots. So I'm going to wait. I can technically attack here. And then get back. I'm going to wait. We've got two shots left, so we're okay. Because they can always melee the druids. Theoretically, if I'm lucky, she attacks and then she gets her turn before he does. Because there's quite a lot of units there. But because I can't guarantee it, I probably won't take the risk. Wait. Oh, I didn't move back far enough. Oops. I'm going to move my druid here then. Fuck. Okay. Oh. That was a hard one. 
Oh. Okay, let's add a caveat. I'm going to stack up the druids. Which isn't necessarily a good thing. But if I can have multiples of sacrificial fairies, it might work out better. Just to keep them back. I don't know, I don't need that many. Still kind of want to... Lose the druids. An ammo cart. Yeah, but it's 2,000 gold. So... I can afford it, but at the same time, I'm trying to beeline towards a, a bigger end game. And most fights I can do without it. So it's kind of just trying to get by, isn't it? With as little as possible. Might try to intimidate them. Hmm. Moving at one step at a time, are we? Okay. I could move her down here to really pull him back, but we can just still wait for now. What happened to that luck, eh? They do they they move in very weird. But it's good for me. I gotta wait with my shots. These guys I can take more risk because they can just attack anyway. Although I did accidentally press wait there. Subconsciously must have done it. I think we go all in on this guy. Didn't get close enough. And I ain't got all day. That'll do pig. May as well take my shots anyway, because... I need to do a lot more damage anyway. Maybe not with these yet. I don't know. They've got six shots. That's okay. Spooky. This is a lot of work. Six shots is three turns of attack, yes. So I've got another two turns of attack. Hmm. So I might not want to take my shots now. But if these guys get that much closer anyway, they're going to do loads of damage regardless. Huh. Kind of, at least I can get some hits in with my hero. And my sprites, if the cooldown is right. Hello, Terrific. Yeah, he's charging.
You can either sacrifice the sprite, but I might be chonky enough to take him down anyway with a druid or two. I don't think they're going to do... I don't know how much Enrage makes them do damage. But there's nine of them. So nine doing 40 damage could maybe be enough to kill a druid. So you kind of still can't quite go yet. I'll go after this. I can't think five can kill me. But if they did, I'd be really, really annoyed. Okay. I've run out of shots. A one sprite. I'll let you have it. Under the circumstances. Uh -huh. Right. Could get the resource silo, but 5,000 gold is still 5,000 gold. So I don't think I need it that badly. There's nothing... There you go, fairy trees. That's the closest you can get to dirt sheep. Minotaurs, a tough fight, but potentially doable. Blooming Grove is really cheap. Mage Guild is more expensive, but it leads towards Stone Ring, which is units that are useful. So I think I'm just going to do that one. Hey, Ah, oh, this is a scenario. I'm exhausted. Takes a lot of energy doing this. Because every fight is like a super serious fight, even if it's just a small pack of mobs. Small in quotation marks. Still much larger than what I have. Off he goes. He is not dawdling. Let's see if I can soften these up. Ogre assault, normal match, your choice of map slash units, etc. But army focused on ogres for push and one ogre warlord WA shadow hunter to boot. Wait, what? Did you say an ogre warlord? You know, there's only. The only ogres you can get are the level 5 ogres. And those are the Lorder on summer maps, such as, um, oh, what's it called? The Twelve Rivers one, but it's not Twelve Rivers, it's like four aside. Feralas? I don't know, Feralas, I think it is Feralas is the actual name for that. Yeah. Feralas is one of those maps that can do that. Golems in the Mist should be able to do that as well, theoretically. Um, Gold Rush should be able to do that. So you're going to have to have something to go with those ogres, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, choice of map units. You can't, before you're thinking about it, you can't use the Banshee to steal the Ogre Warlord, because he's level 7. So now this guy comes in, hits that, but won't have enough damage. So I'm okay with him being in range. Because he won't have enough damage anyway. There'll be a retaliate. But the, what I do versus these ones down here is... I don't know. There's no good answer versus those.
may as well lose some more sprites there. Because I don't know how we get past these ones at the bottom. Sacrificial sprites. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Unless he can come around and hit these druids. But I might lose the druids. I'll run out of shots as well. Oh no, I didn't. It's because I'm being ganked. I can actually pull those sprites back. Which means you can only kill the lesser ones. So that's okay-ish, in quotation marks. Under the circumstances, I guess. Oh, I tried again, Despy. I'm, I'm going again. This map needs, like, almost a flawless start. I could have done Wasp Swarm, maybe. Oh, hell no. All this work, man. <laughs> All right. Is it really worth it? Let's try the zombies. God, this is so much work. At least these feel like, yeah, you just got to get the numbers down to a certain point and then you can tank them with the druids, so it's totally doable. That's a bit better than the Minotaurs. Yeah, I don't think I even used mana, did I? It's just getting knowledge, which I don't really want. Trash. Gonna see what's up here. Steel Golem. Uh, I think you can. I think you can, but you. Eh, might just take the quick battle because it will save me some bloody time. Probably won't do much better than that. Uh, that's alright. That's an extra level. That's more stats. That's more knowledge. I hate this game. Stop giving me stuff I don't want. <laughs> Bloody knowledge. It's like it's completely useless. Pretty much not going to bother with that. Because all the resources are going to go towards better units. Stone ring. These are druids. 
I can sort of try the minor tools again. I don't think it will go better. It's just because I've got some levels, but... I get some greedier hits with the sprites. Yeah. I'm actually going to leave this one over here so he goes and kills it, which will buy me more time. Hmm, interesting. I thought she might get a turn before this, but she doesn't. So I might be losing those as well. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well... I could redo it, but I don't think I care that much about them. As long as I get this done. That will do. Looks good enough. Da, 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 da. The most important ability on this map. Pathfinding. Reduces penalty for moving through rough terrain. Although I wouldn't necessarily class the underground as necessary as rough, but it's gotta be it's gotta help. I hope something helps, because otherwise you don't move at all down there. Am I actually going to get unicorns? Probably not, to be honest. So I might still skip it and actually get four or resource silo for gems, which I don't really need. So four actually just for the more units that are actually going to be more useful. Because we're getting treants next. I'm actually tempted to almost go with... Um, experience over gold only because it helps strengthen the hero's ability to do the other bits which can lead towards gold and I've got a really good start so far I do need gold though for capital but I think I can sacrifice 2000 vitality is not too bad an extra bit of health could make or break a unit dying or not okay not bad not bad May as well take that. Okay, so you can't do the Cerberus, because they're going to kill everything. And the Squires are pretty damn tough as well, so probably not going to do... And this is the part where you pretty much just beeline for the uh, base. You can beeline right at the start, but you're kind of doing things along the way. Whereas this stuff, it just isn't realistic anymore. 
I'll either lose a whole ton of units, or I just won't be able to do it anyway. Let's get the trance. I didn't actually check the heroes to see if there was an estates. There isn't. There's just someone that likes unicorns. And Vlad, who's a bit of a pimp. Oh, he's got summoning magic and basic necromancy. Vlad's awesome, isn't he? And he gets an increase to power to raise dead. He's actually really good. If I could play one of those neutral heroes as undead, I would probably pick Vlad. I'm pretty sure it's always Squires. Sorry for skipping that. Apologies. You can check the cutscenes at some point in your own leisure. Just play easy mode and go to a signpost. But basically the mission is to follow the signs. Uh, it is a squire. So I don't think I can take those. They're definitely doable units, but at this stage I'm still not strong enough. I'd need like an extra few druids or something. We're coming up on week three. Oh no. Mages are guarding that. Arc mages as well. Ugh. Yeah, you get a bunch of range units here. Yep. That's not doable. So all that stuff is like above the pay grade. Well, I tried the tree and alcove, the upgrade ones. Or I can just get the resource silo out of the way. Or a citadel for 5,000. You've got to basically build up anyway to get the capital. Or you get two really cheap things, which will help you get this. Yeah, sacrifice the citadel. Get two cheap things that you don't even really want, but you kind of have to get because it's going to lead towards the capital, and the capital is going to make more money. Not the minus one. Why did it have to be minus one? It'd be nice if I had enough movement speed to get the base. Or at least to get the rangers that are here. But you can't. Also, that I might not be able to do without losing a bunch of units. So, I won't actually go there first. Or I can try it and see how much I lose to see if it's worth it. Because otherwise there's these free units that you can get at the top left. Probably not worth. Let's just try and see you do it with the druids only. Hee <laughs> hee! Even just the uh, wasp swarm was enough to kill a druid. Okay. This is light magic, by the way. We shouldn't need that. Oh! It's not light magic. It's something else. It's summoning magic. Well, actually, I want that. I'm just missing enlightenment. I thought I had enlightenment. I had it in one of the turns. Then we've got capital. There it is. 4,272 gold a day. Whites. Okay. It's not the upgraded whites, but it's still whites. So I'll take them. Free units, after all. 
They're not bad. I think I prefer them to the Pit Lords. Even though Pit Lords are kind of cool. I don't like Pit Lords um, when I'm not playing Inferno. I feel like the Whites are actually just kind of solidly, overall, kind of well tanky. Although they're undead. I haven't really seen it be many other options than Whites. Or Pit Lords. Could get the dragons. If you start getting them like this early, maybe they won't suck. But I haven't had much experience with the dragons being good. You might be thinking, well, dragons are great units. Oh, this is bad. Those guarding are nasty. But because they're they always kill something. They're just horrible. Just horrible. Let's try the dragons. I'm saying it through gritted teeth. Because I'm thinking like the gold. Am I going to be able to afford it? You're getting 5,000 gold a day. If you get that base, you'll definitely get more gold. But you've got to put money into that base to build that up. 5,000 gold. How much are these? So you get five of those a week. That's 1,500. That's not too bad. Eight of those a week. So you got 2,500. You get two of those a week. Yeah, you should be able to get dragons on top of that. Filthy dragons. Oh, she's got some rangers. She's got summoning magic. This guy just loves his gremlins. Ay, ay, ay. And we basically do this fight using the white. They can't wasp swarm me, actually. Oh, he's got rangers. Oh, I didn't see those. Snuck down there. They didn't do too much damage there. I don't think I'm going to be lucky enough to get away with not losing a white here. But one white is certainly not bad. Yeah, I'd need some pretty supreme healing to get past that. One white for a base is okay. Master of Life. That's the bad one as well. I want the other two. Who cares about Raised Dead as an elf or Fist of Wrath? Thirty percent damage reduction, that's alright. Okay, so here we have a base that's basically got nothing in it, so you kinda of try to get City Hall with this one, and maybe some Treants as well. Could get Blacksmith for the ammo cart. I still gotta buy the units, don't I? So there's not really anything I can do in this base, you just kinda of get it for the income. So I may as well I don't think I'm strong enough to go through this. Theoretically, kind of. Or you're going to have to take five turns to get back to base. Ah. I could get Mage Guild with this. When do you get Summoning Magic? Is it level 10 or 15? Does anyone know? Or what level it is. You get Summoning. Like uh, Summon Units. Because I can Summon Units from Underground. 
kind of need to know the answer to that. I'll find out. Heroes of Might and Magic 5. Summon units. It's not necessarily summoning magic as such. Summon... It's like... um. It's an adventure magic. Summon creatures is only level three. Wow. Okay. It's quite a. It's quite a lie. I know you got a black screen at the moment. It should go back. All right. Uh, you can come up here to get a town portal to come back to base, and then buy up the troops but I can't necessarily afford them all. That might be the best play. If you did that, then you've got to come all the way back round. Ideally, you would be able to sort of do this, because that red tent leads to an item that's over here. An iPad kid. I have no idea what that is. What are you doing trying to fall asleep at the day during the day anyway? You got nothing better to do. Oh, I forgot I got these. Yes, this should, should be better. They're so fast though. Ugh. So fast! Fuckers. See, that's okay. He does the work for me. This top one, though, I don't like him. I don't like this one at the top. I'm not a fan. I think I've got to lose one unit, at least. So I could have actually stuck some peasants in there or something. He's just going to hit my rangers in a moment. Like a swine. Is losing six rangers okay? I'm sure I could do that and lose nothing. If I just use like one fairy. Although I don't have that luxury. It would have to be um, peasants. Otherwise I'd have to sacrifice all 23 fit sprites. Which I don't necessarily want to do. He's fast. Maybe I should have stayed down. My stream is relaxing. It makes you fall asleep. Yeah, but how, how are you falling asleep during the day? What you doing? Swine! He found a way. This needs flawless execution of position. Something like that. I think he's still going to hit something, whatever he wants to hit. Although that helps. Him only moving forward one step. I'm just going to stay where I am. Those peasants are making 22 gold a day. I could have actually just left them in the base. But then again, they could also be used for purpose like this. But then I could have just split my fairies into one stack if the parent peasants were back at base. Anyway, we can get rid of the peasants this way. 
the noble cause. It doesn't even kill them all, somehow. Hmm. Um, attack actually isn't that bad. Attack or enlightenment. I hadn't planned to get attack. <sighs> attack isn't actually that bad. Enlightenment is only really useful for the wisdom, but I get so much knowledge anyway. As you can see, I've got bloody plus one knowledge there. I don't think I really need it. Maybe I'll just go attack. If you're not giving me enlightenment, maybe I'll take it. What else have we got? See, that's more useful. Fire trap and a... Well, fire trap. We like fire trap. We can use that to exploit. But our hero is not a very good spellcaster at the moment, so they won't do that much damage anyway. All troops under hero's control are blessed with fighting. Amazing vitality. Where the hell is this one? This is instead of 15% damage reduction. Yeah, but this one is useless. If enemy creatures attack the hero's troops and kill them all, you lose anyway, most of the time. If there's a trigger where... I mean, I don't know 100%, but if there's a trigger that says your hero loses if he loses combat, then normally it kills you. I'm sure it did it to me before when I was playing as a Godric or something. All troops on the hero's control. Plus one makes me quite angry. Plus, if you lose all of your units, you're kind of fucked anyway, aren't you? Uh, I'm going to take the attack because I'm not getting enlightenment. I don't know. I could take luck and then see if I get enlightenment. Let's take the attack. Full on attack, full on aggression. Pent up aggression. Do you really want to buy that for just plus one tree a week? Seems kind of overkill, doesn't it? Resource silo. If you just get it, then you've got it. I'm going to get that. I don't even need the gems that much. It's just that I can sell the gems for money. Can I get lucky and kill these? Yeah, it's not a bad result. A stranger meat his dragon. Ah, oh, you were supposed to cast Endurance on this guy, actually. I had one Druid left. Go! That was nice. I got some luck there. I was thinking of using the Sprites to actually stand here. So if he does want to sort of pick off my ranges, he's got to go through the Sprites to do it. Oh, hey, he got his turn earlier than he should have done, but okay. I think that might have been what happened earlier. Go! Damn, he still managed to pick one off. Oh, he just about managed to pick one off. I think you could potentially do this and lose just one less white or something. Okay. Let's try that. Because I can move the peasants down as well. I mean, even the quick combat had a pretty much better result. If the peasants are down here, they can also protect. I'm just doing endurance first now instead of last.
good. I see he managed to tank it because of that endurance. So go for the sprites again. Get ready to block if need be. Sprites be dead. If I waited, I might be able to get my turn before they attack again. But if I... I don't know. Might just have to lose a white. You get two kills there. Or you can wait and let these guys attack first. And then if those guys went after them... I'll take the gamble and I'll see. Ha! Ah, it actually worked. Then that might make a big difference. Because I can either use these guys to block... Or I can just use them to attack to get more damage and then just lose some of the ranges. Which I think I'll take that option. Because my whites are actually pretty strong at the moment. So the more of their numbers I can keep up. Better than a few ranges, I'd say. Boom. Yeah, I'll take that. Mm, don't have any Avenger shite at the moment. Shite. Alright, we got the key. So, it's time to go... It's almost as quick just to come down here, but... There is a portal up here. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the other stuff without losing. We'll see. Maybe I get Citadel for more units. Once it's done, it's done. Because I can't pick the units up for like another three, four turns anyway. Get the free resources. I'll do it. It's done. Now you can get two dragons a week. Snappy boys. Um, are you going to give me? There we go. Death comes for you. I will lose one, but I have to... I'm keeping him in distance. Yeah, do that. He's got to hit that. And this guy can just come over here or something. Oh, wow, she didn't get the kill. That's great. That's really, really good. You can move back then. And we can get the free experience. So far, this has gone about as good as it could possibly go. So if I can't kill the computer still, then it's just stupid. Technically, you can kill this stuff for experience as well, actually. I've, that's another reason to go this way. That gives you a free level. But you probably want to take it when you're closer to level 20. Hmm...
We're gonna just try to block the 11 stack, maybe. Oh man, I only killed one. God damn. Hmm, this might not be worth it then. Could have done endurance as well. Can't go that much better, to be honest. I'd almost move those to sort of block, but these can still hit those. Druids can't quite move far enough. Only if they get another turn. Yeah, nice. Interesting. Might wait. Uh, I'm going to finish those off. Slapped at the face. Yeah, I still have to lose a few units, even though doing this like really well. Is it worth it? Maybe, because all the experience does it does go towards a good cause, but losing the units is kind of painful. Oops. <laughs> Four of those. 3,375 experience, which isn't even a level at the moment. I don't know if that's worth it. It's doable. It's just, I don't know if it's worth it. You kind of don't want to take any fight that isn't going to result in, like, practically guaranteed victory. I don't know if there's a way to do these without losing any whites.
What do you think? You think? Hmm. Because he gets his turn first. Mm. If you move one forward, you definitely lose one. So that doesn't necessarily solve that problem. I feel like there must be a way to do this without losing that one, but it's just not hitting me. Because of the way they take their turns. I'll just take the hit. Because I'm going to be here all day otherwise. At least I got plus one knowledge. This is not going to go well. And they got regen. We're still in serious mode at the moment. Brave Knight. <laughs> the scariness of the situation is uncomfortable indeed.
Oh, that's good. I might just take the hits though. Because I was trying to sort of get the the hunters to attack before he does, but by the time he got to have his turn, it was kind of already over. Like, the hydras just go straight afterwards and kill the hunters that are close. Because the hunters have to be somewhat close to get in position to melee attack. If I'm lucky, don't lose another one, and that'll be okay. Come on. Good. Alright. There we go. We've got zero attacks, six defense. I don't know whether to just keep pushing defense, actually. On top of my 40% defense. It's been quite useful. I'm not sure if I'm getting upgrades either for units. Or just getting the flat units. Oh, there she is. May as well buy her. Get some of that peasant money. Pay off for itself. Necessarily do that. Plus two attack, plus two defense. Both are good. I kind of like the defense, though, if I go for summoning magic. So I can just defend as much as possible. With my normal troops, whilst my summons get the kills. This is not Tries of the East, this is the base heroes of my magic. Scenario. Tier for Osir. I'll take this. If it gives me a chance of getting Phoenix, which it doesn't necessarily, but... Just in the hopes. It's in the title, but I can't load Battle.net at the moment. So I can't load War 3 as a consequence. I could put that on her, but he's still getting use out of it. Expensive. I can trade. It's not terrible, right? It is possible to get Phoenix on this map. 
because when I went dark magic, one of the bases at the bottom, their tier 5 spell was Conjure Phoenix, and another one was Phantom Forces, or Arcane Armor. I got really screwed over. I'm sure this time it will all be dark magic and not Conjure Phoenix, but you can, if you're not super unlucky, like me. As long as you keep that bad luck under control. Next turn I should be able to afford to buy the rest of it, most likely. He's got 10 knowledge! This map is so rigged, it gives him... It, I, I don't know why, but it's obsessed with giving Osir knowledge. Look at his spell power and his knowledge. It's just dead stats. Absolutely useless. Gutter trash. Pretty trash spells as well. Gutter trash. Doesn't need that much knowledge, though. Probably won't buy the pixies, even though they are somewhat quite useful. Can upgrade those. That's fine. She's going to go pick up some peasants. He's going to come back and help clear. I can take the double mana. May as well. But it doesn't do anything. Well, it does. It's not too far to go. And it's 200 mana instead of 100. I didn't learn summon magic. Summon units. And I got a level 2. Maybe it has to be a level 3. Does it have to be a level 3? It said level 3, didn't it? I thought it level 3 as in hero. Must be level 3 and... I'll have to go back for a level 3 base then. Pretty much done with that base now. At least for the time being. This is all done within the first month. But it gets very computer heavy next month. <sighs> Nothing useful. Summon creatures there. But I may as well stay in base and just buy the units and save myself the mana. In theory, this is the base you're going to be closest to at the top. So you could, like, upgrade the Hunter's Lodge and the one at the top. It's much harder to get to the one at the bottom. But, to be fair, I need some money to upgrade the stuff at the bottom anyway. I mean, uh, the underground bases. 
So I might not actually upgrade any units. Because it's overrated. And you can't get both units. If one of them's upgraded, I can't get the other one. Without getting the others to the other base where it's upgraded. If you know what I mean. Could be worth buying the sprites. Do it. Maybe I should get the ore cart as well. I got stronger units now, so I can still skimp on the ore cart for the moment rather than trade all my sources. Some. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to Gothic 2 at some point. Age of Empires 2. I kind of played that again. I did a thing where I recently, well I say recently, about a year ago or so. I would uh, beat the insane computer with each of the different races. Like each day or something. Because there were so many. It was, uh, yeah, it's quite fun. Is it on YouTube? What, Age of Empires 2? I got some Age of Empires 2 on YouTube, but it's not like uh, me beating the insane computer with every single race. It's just me sometimes beating the insane computers with whatever race I was using. Humans most... Uh, Britons most likely. By default, Britons are humans. Maybe I want to upgrade this. I can try it. So when I get round there, I can upgrade my units. Bit more luck. Gonna need it. Vampires shouldn't be a problem. You're damn straight, I'm not going to let them take a single unit off of me. That is not going to happen. Sneaky bit of wood that I was going to just skip. Still can't afford that. I suppose I could get the Avengers killed as well. I don't think I killed that many... I've killed some Blood Furies. Some Grim Raiders. But I haven't even leveled up the other thing. Citadel, do you really need it? 
the computer's going to take all of this stuff. Unless I can somehow do it so I don't lose everything. But the computer pretty much takes it. I'll get one Avengers Guild. Again, this map? I know. It's a hard map. Oh, there's a computer. No, 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 no. This is it. They're coming in. Coming in a bit earlier than they should be. This is a little bit earlier than what they should be doing. Which is difficult, because now my, that character's a bit stuck. They're definitely a little bit early. Should be another week, really. I'm hoping she doesn't get ganked, but she probably will. Where well, do you think they're going to rush? You might want to build something. Nice hair day. My hair does whatever the hell it's gonna do. I just, I just do that. It is what it is. Well, oh, get a free ballista. That's actually not bad. It's not bad if they survive. Could have taken that for more movement. Please don't make this complicated, Mr. Computer. This is what the computer does. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't have enough movement speed. Normally they move like two times faster than you can ever move. Oh, that's not bad. Better than the plus six knowledge one, yeah. Plus two to all primary stats. And re much of resistance. That's actually really good. She'll probably still get killed. I could potentially surrender. See, I can take that. That's the first. But there's plenty more where that comes from. I've got a decent chunk of cash as well. i got to get underground, really. He'll just flee. That's what they do. They completely cheat a lot as well. Is they got all the money in the world. So if you ever get like an adva advantage attacking them, they just flee and they keep their units. Or, you know, surrender.
dun 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 I like how it says very low and then you proceed to lose everything. Imagine if I could just move a bit further. Yeah. That does nothing. Computer does cheat, yeah. Don't know this is worth it. Barely. And by barely, I mean probably not even barely. Really? Oh, no, nah, it's not worth it then. Holy shit. Nope. Not gonna happen. Indeed, Milo. Indeed. A better attempt, but the computer's actually turned up a little bit earlier than he should have done. Or at least, certainly seems to have turned up about as early as he possibly could have done. So he's trying to rig the game. But I'm basically done with this first area. And I'm raking in a whole bunch of gold for now. Don't know whether to bother with that dragon altar. Do dee do. Do dee do dee do. Dee do dee do. I'll get it afterwards. I'll upgrade all the other buildings. So I can upgrade my units. Oh, here comes the next one. He's a bit tougher, but still doable. If I can kill him, then I have to go for him. This is what they do. They keep throwing shit at you, and you have to... F uh, he might not be able to take the base if I put units in it. There's not many units. I'd love to see him just lose, but I'm pretty sure he could kill me. Let's have one attempt. Where I just defend. Of course they're going to be difficult. They're going to make me manually do this.
Hmm. Yeah, I still haven't done it flawlessly anyway. Uh, just come back then. Might need a few more units. Oh, wow, those trains are actually holding up really well. <laughs> I'll chuck a few more in to help them. Could actually just ignore them because they won't do anything. They'll just try, try to be annoying. And always let these tree ants stack up over time, so it's more chance that when I go for the tree, I can get myself to level 19. Looking a bit beefier. Maybe upgrade the base at the bottom. This is kind of like a slight mistake you can make there. Gonna get that just so I have the option of the ammo cart. That'll do. It's like even if you do everything right, a computer still so stupidly strong. I may have to summon some units. I want to get Mage Guild, actually. Because I've got um, experts summoning. 
So might get Conjure Phoenix. If I'm lucky, yes. Or if you know I'm overdue getting a Conjured Phoenix. Theoretically, I could just upgrade. I can either buy the troops and bring them over or just upgrade these bases over time. And when I'm underground, I can summon when I'm close enough to the bottom base and get the backup troops from over here. Mm. Or you try buying them and then bringing them over with the hero, but it's slow. She's not quick enough. Ah, oh, it's tough. I think just... Leave it for now. It's crazy, isn't it? Um... Yeah, let's just go for these things. bother with the unicorns, didn't I? Because you have to think on this level a lot. There's only so much you can truly afford. Even though I'm floating like 37k, that will go down quickly enough. Especially now I'm getting there. Uh, please, please, for the love of God, give me a good level 5. If I get the upgraded dragons from here, the dragons I get at the bottom won't be upgraded. So there's, like, I can't do that. Unless I manage to upgrade both dragons, which is pretty expensive. Affordable, but expensive. Never get what I want. I sure look forward to using that. Oh, what's the chance of getting Armageddon with the elves? Like that's got to be rare. It, like it should be more common to get the freaking Phoenix than it should be get Armageddon. But if I'm playing, then you better bet that I'm going to get the worst possible one I can do. Disgraceful. So this is where I can just go straight down rather than sort of faff about coming back because it's just not going to work with the faff, you know. There's only so much you can faff. So I've pretty much got to go. Elves never get tier 4 or 5 summon spells? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure they have more chance of getting a tier 4 or 5 summon spell than a bloody Armageddon. I'm going to start upgrading the else down here. The only downside of doing this is eventually the computer comes and takes all of this anyway. I mean, unless I manage to sort of do such a good job that I can keep the computer, but it has done in the past. So, all of these elf troops normally just get depleted anyway. No, it's always light and destructive. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm taking defense again. I got 12 knowledge, so we got that going. There's a bit of spell power here. But then I've got to go straight down after that. I'm hoping that my pathfinding... This is where you need pathfinding to make a difference. Because you move like sludge. 
in this area. And that's what gets you killed on this map. Is once you go down there, you just don't move at all. And the computer's way too fast. They move like lightning. How much peasant gold are we getting? We're getting 446 gold a day from the peasants. At the top left, normally the computer doesn't have this base. It's a neutral. At least when I came down here last time, it was neutral. However, since there's a computer here, it seems to suggest that maybe they've taken the base at the top left. But I normally would go for the bottom left and the bottom right, because those are the bases that actually belong to them. Even though the base up here it actually isn't far away. So I suppose I could take the extra day or two to just take it, since I'm here. I'm being debated. Yeah, they actually took this base already. They're quicker. Not sure that's a good thing or a bad thing for me. I would lean towards bad thing, but maybe it changes things. Oi. Probably still wouldn't worry about that. Gotta get the stone ring. I'm tempted to see if Conja Phoenix goes in the first base as well, but according to Janko, he think he thinks it doesn't. She just does the rounds, picking up the uh, extra resources that you can get on the map. The base is right here. Should be easy. In and out. But they don't do anything with it. So you can get a marketplace. Town hall. Trade, that kind of thing. May as well come down, I guess. Don't need that. And just take a mine. And they call it a mine. So far, so good, but I really, on this map, I just don't get my hopes up. Because I'm still waiting for the computer to do something that will just destroy me. Like, he's going to be annoying in a moment and try to escape. And I can't be everywhere at once. If I could, like, guard the, the entrance, it wouldn't be so bad. I can get a tavern hero to pick up these extra resources, actually. This trash. This guy that belongs in Dark Souls, doesn't he? I might buy him just because he looks funny. Oh, Schmid, Bob. Thank you. I'll take the compliment. I'll take it and run. 52,000 gold. Might be a little bit more than you're worth. 50 succubi for 52,000 gold. So they think they're worth basically a thousand gold each. At least. It's pricey. Technically, I can afford it, but I don't think they're going to make enough of a difference. If it was like a hundred of them, maybe. Probably rather not fight them either, because I might 
Eh, every bit of experience counts. Maybe leave them for later. Eh. Theoretically, you could. Like, after you've had a few bad fights. They managed to kill anything. Ballista almost died. Stop doing that! Hopefully it's in the 4,500 gold ballista. Fine, I'll just leave them under the circumstances then. Or maybe they can be a backup buy, but I can't... If I'm struggling, I don't know if money's going to be able to solve it. Well, I don't know if I'm going to have 50,000 gold to buy. Ah, uh, whatever. At least we got the pathfinding. Hey. I should have put I could have put something here actually. I don't have town portal, so I'm going to have to This is why having slow movement speed kills you because the computer sneaks through and then you've got to chase after them, which is wasting time, because you don't really want to have to chase after them. If I've got enough units at the top, I don't. I could bought boy, boy a hero, and then scare them off. Could suicide this character just to scout. Tempting to put some resources towards a fort, at least. Ah, oh, they're so annoying. At least it's, uh, I can buy some troops. The tough computers at the top right, you can possibly break in and kill them. I have got a really good army, and it's like a fully upgraded base. I think there's two ways to do this map then. With everything I've done so far, see if it's strong enough to break the top right. If not, then go to the bottom left. So I'll try the top right first. I'm not going to get distracted by that annoying ge In fact, I can sacrifice the left base, which is annoying, by summoning units from it. Theoretically. I mean, heck. I can come down and get all the units from here. And then do the top right. I should totally be able to do the top right if I get everything. Like, if I summon everything, take an extra week at best to do it. More likely four days. Could just go back to chase that. No, 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 no. Don't get distracted. Rutger. All experience is increased. And enlightenment logistics, nice and quick.
Probably don't want mixed groups though. Still hard though. Sag, Sag music. the computer will try to distract you and stop you from achieving the goal but you might have to make some sacrifices see that's an army I could possibly probably kill if I can just defend for long enough depends how s they're normally really strong spellcasters as well fucking 14 spell that's their, that's their strong one then 14 spell power but she's only got <laughs> 20 knowledge so that actually yeah that's not bad Raise dead, maybe. So she casts another fireball if I stack all my units together. That's 10 less mana she has in the fight. Oof. Stack them up. Do another fireball. I dare you. No, she's not going to do it. Go, fireball. She looks like a, one of those Jedis, doesn't she? Or Sif. Doesn't seem like she's gone for the bows. Oh, the other downside of having that... Summon... I've got to come really far down to summon from here. That's the other thing. So you almost may as well take the bottom left base anyway. I'll chuck some more at them. I don't think he's going to push. He might just give up. If he does push, though, he's going to struggle. Or she. I'd rather they push and lose. Oh, there we go. I'm 
I'm going to bait that fireball. Blood Furies. Oh, come on. Give me a fireball. You know you want to. Oh, you can't be that fast. Ah, oh, she's not doing fireballs. <laughs> All their units always move like six billion miles an hour. Right. Let's put all of them over here then. This time. And we'll see. There we go. Oh. She cast Fire Trap. She's got 15 mana now. I might be able to actually go push her. Ideally, I'll go and kill her. Because she's not going to attack. Yeah, she's she's going to waste time. Be annoying. See, there's so many of them. They're like rats. Just another one of them. Maybe from here I can summon at the bottom left. That would be so good if I could. Because then I wouldn't have to go all the way down. Do do do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Meteor shower, yeah. Okay, we're getting the wrong end of the stick now. Buy some more heroes to throw at her. Although it does cost me units. I should see if I can take her. <laughs> it feels like that has more chance to give you minus luck than it does actually good luck. Oh, I could have built up their base. But they might take it anyway. Hmm. He's one of their weaker ones. Took down one Blood Fury. Okay, let's see if we can win this one. We know they're super fast. Super annoying.
Got to get that plus two. What was it? Plus three water damage. She's got fireball though, so she'll probably use that. No, she doesn't actually. Got her mana down to eight. I'm sure I should be able to win this. Because her main strength is spell power, but she doesn't have mana now. She's got no mana. Nice. She does retaliate, so I might just send these off to try to get close to those, or at least be a distraction. Distraction. Annoyingly, they got my uh, hunters because those minotaurs moved at about six million mile an hour. Yeah, I think they still win this. But maybe I can buy another bunch of units. And... If I can push them back down to the bottom base, it might be worth it. I was supposed to be able to have my turn there, but I guess you snuck in. Let's see what they do. So that's Menel 4, which is the first one. Oh my god, where'd that money go? Okay. I need more money. Where's the money? I'd be better off just defending without my hero being suicidal then. Hmm. Yeah, that money disappeared. And I'll just keep this character in here. But I still need that monies.
Let's see, he's gonna run off and be annoying though. At least if I had him where he killed my stuff, he might have gone back down. But uh He's he can't do too much damage at the moment. But it will get a mana back, and then they can do damage. Yeah, I ideally in an ideal world, there's no computer on the top side. But as is usual, they always find a way to sneak out there. Just before you can, uh, you can stop them. Having free marketplaces definitely does help here. I probably wouldn't be able to summon all the sprites anyway. I wouldn't have the mana for it. So whether I do that or not is debatable. I technically had the mana, but do I want to lose 76 mana? <laughs> I think there was one of those mana replenishment things. I'm not sure where they. I don't use that much mana in fights anyway, so I'll take the gamble. And we're going to go back up. I'm going to go straight up. They become dangerous now because they're going to portal down. And I don't have a character there to stop them because they're going to portal to a base that doesn't have any defense. So this, they're, they're so annoying. Always finding a way to be a nuisance. Definitely think I'm moving a little bit quicker underground. Not massively so. Well, I might be able to get some units before he can get to me. So there is that. But I'm going to want to save my money. So I can fight him with a crappy hero. I can buy tavern heroes to slow him down as well. Yeah, you get the top right base, but no one cares about that. Top left, sorry. Oh, here he comes. Look, he's going to do this thing where he's going to turn up before I can stop him. Beep, beep. Yeah, I think he's got it. There is one way around this. That's to send this hero to um, the middle point. And that he will most likely chase after it rather than go for my base, which is more exposed. Will he take the bait? Will he want that peasant? Peasant gold. He does. Or she does. So that's going to buy us maybe one or two days. I don't know how far to run here, though. I'll try full speed and see what she does. Well, I suppose I should take the gold mine if it's that close. Here comes another one to go up to the high ground. Wow, she is chasing. So this is where you start to lose your stuff on the high ground. 
in the hopes that you can take their stuff at the underneath. But you need to move somewhat quickly so you can actually do it. I've got no good spells at the moment, which is kind of similar to when I did light magic, as I had no good spells. And dark magic as well. In fact, any time, whatever magic I take is always bad. They always seem to give you the spells that don't give that magic school a boost. She's running for her life. Hello there, Blue Nine. This is the direction towards... Ah. Towards the big bad base. And they've got a couple of their strongest computers outside of it. I can keep trying to make a run for it. Or I could actually come over here and potentially make them go around in circles. I think she'll catch me next turn. Oh, I could have bought a dragon shrine, but uh, I'm still not sure if I'm investing. I need to see whether this guy can take the person that's coming out hard. If I buy some more units, maybe I can scare them off. Maybe I do end up buying that Dragon Shrine. <laughs> Still haven't caught me. And this guy's going back because of the threat of this guy. I got more of a feel for... Like, you, all you have to do is basically know the map inside and out. Well, very well at least. And then play pretty much perfectly. And you stand a chance. But that's... I mean, again, don't get ahead of yourselves because you can still easily lose this map. Even though it doesn't seem like it. Trust me. I've already lost it multiple times. No AoE attack. Feels bad. Stupid dragon. So much spine spike spike damage. Damn. Well, that's alright. I thought they might just retaliate with enough damage. Hmm. You want to go for the sprites? That's alright. Less important. Who's next? The Minotaurs are going to get a nice, strong hit. So we've got to get rid of those. And then they're going to get their hit in. Don't worry about the dragon at the moment. Just push forward. I like how the sprites are taking the damage because they're kind of redundant now. I'd say this went very well. I think last time I tried to take this, I lost more units. And that's defense against 
magic attacks or an extra 5% damage. Probably take the um, defense against magic. What with all that spell power. Okay. Computer is still chasing. Can I get a cheeky buff before going? And then round again. Normally computers so quick they can stop you a bit. Not necessarily this time. This guy might come back to the left though. But I'm stronger as well. So my character might be able to stop him. If it wasn't for all the spell power she probably still has now. So it's not really worth fighting her unless I can throw some weak units to soak up the soak up the spells. Her mana. I'm oh, still going. This is perfect because she's basically about as fast as this character is. So as long as I move at close to maximum, she might just keep chasing me in circles. Ah, minus one. That's just what I was after. Ah, oh, just shy. It's level 18. Okay, let's give it a save. Excuse me. Only way to guarantee a win is Necro. Mm. I don't know if you can get a Necro and get the Necro points. I don't think you can, actually, because I bought a Necro dude, didn't I? I didn't see any Necro points at the time. You can't change your character on this. You have to be um Elf. Oh, no. She's not chasing me anymore. She's given up the hunt. Not bad. I'm doing really well here. I think I didn't. I definitely didn't have this many dragons last time. Yes, that's annoying. Yes, yes, that is annoying. Those dragons could attack, but I don't know they'll have enough damage to actually. They might be able to kill one white. Let's get rid of those. Well, damage them at least. The whites are expendable anyway. The whole point is they're kind of there to eventually die but if you can keep them alive then by all means do it ah that was a nasty one so the only other way is to do this fight but without the range units but then it makes it much more clunky trying to get inside the base in the first part Where quick combat must have been basically the same, if not even better. Oh well, there you go. Got this base now. Certainly not over. 
I could sacrifice those for some Blood Furies and Minotaurs. Scale of Enlightenment. Robe of Sarissus. Certainly some expensive things to buy. Not things I would necessarily go for, though. But not a bad idea. Like, I don't have any boots. I can buy a ring. I can buy a dragon teeth necklace. I still have some spare gold, most likely, to get my other stuff. The best thing about having this base is you can then build these units. So we got a ring, helm, necklace, shield, boots, weapon. So you can get a necklace. May as well. That'll work on the druids as well. I don't think this is that impressive. Also, my um, thing's already taken on that spot. Crystal Ice, plus two defense. I thought I had that. Must have been on a different attempt. That should be a shield, I think. Yeah, those, those are pretty good artifacts, to be fair. So, my character's now... 18 defense which is a bit better and he's got some spell power thanks to the items because goodness knows he's got way too much knowledge we got firewall we unfortunately didn't get phoenix but I got firewall so that's something it's very hard to get spells that are actually good so I assume there isn't a computer in this area. So what I do is I basically just come straight out and go to like the next base. The quicker you can take all their bases away from them, the better. But it's hard to do because they run around here taking your bases at the top. But so far, I've managed to keep them fairly under control and bought time for units that might be able to defeat them, even if they're from a lower tier hero. Like, I've got this guy here. I think I'll get that dragon shrine then. Treat myself. Stranger meet his dragon. Is this it? Is this the dream? To beat blue? Is it happening? Or am I just being tricked? Because they're running around like rats at the moment. Getting ready to take my bases at the top. Throwing everything they got. Little rats. Hmm. How does... Uh, Peasants versus footmen look. I didn't realise there's like a squire here. Well, that's kind of fitting, isn't it? Valiant battle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure pathfinding is working because I would have moved less there. I mean, you still didn't see me move much at all. But even then, that still feels quicker. I think the bottom right base is the next strongest. Then the bottom left, then the top left. There's also another base over here on the top. But that's an elf base. I don't know if the computer has that. Or whether you just get it from a neutral. But the computer will get it eventually if you don't go for it. Okay. 
I like how I'm kind of forcing the computer to potentially spend resources building that base up, as you can see, because there's some units in there. So unless that belonged to them before, they've been building this base up and putting stuff in it. Because last time when I took that base, I had to build it up. Oh, I'm gonna lose this peasant, boys. That could be it for the peasant. F for peasant. Still hard. But I don't know they can break me if they attack into this base. If I can get another day or two, that would be great. We'll have to see what they do. Looks like they're faffing about over here, which is pretty good for me. Oops. Yeah, I've got this on Heroes of Might Magic 5. Why would you say this isn't Warcraft 3 when it clearly states that it's not Warcraft 3? What a strange thing to do. Got company. going to move down there. And then they're going to go back up. And when they were up, they were up. When they were down, they were down. Damn it. My peasants are going to get hit. This is terrible. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> oh, could have a little bit of luck. Unique knight skill allows to upgrade limited number of human troops. No. Makes fire trap and earthquake spells more powerful. Fire trap? Catapult? No. So either luck for my army defending or I think luck what a locker I don't know if she can reach me so whether to go like here and then come to the base still not getting unicorns because I don't think I can afford it on both sides Tea. 
good thing is I managed to pick up some stats as well. She's got seven defense, so she's not completely useless. Got to look after those peasants. Deirdre. Blue. That goes to the right hand side. Ooh, nice. I can just about reach this annoying chap. Okay, so we need to save now to see what it is we're going to do when it comes to defense. So top base is pretty straightforward. Just buy everything. See what I can afford in the other base first. Yeah, not much. <laughs> yeah, definitely keep your money for that. I think they're going to hit hard on the bottom base when this one comes as well. So I'm not sure how long I can keep them busy for. Not to mention there's the potential of buying heroes just to try to use up her mana. Or you just buy the units. You can get 18 druids. Or two heroes. They're quite expensive now. 3,500 gold. But the amount of mana. The amount of damage she'll do potentially. Yeah, I think I might take the druids. You can still get the troops from here. So you're not like... Ghosts as well. <laughs> ghosts are a good chance that she'll use mana. Given another save because I might be able to just send my hero out to go kill that person before the other one turns up. I can definitely take this one with this goat dude. I could flank him, flank him on both sides. I got the power. Which heroes of might and magic is your best, in your opinion? I think I got a fondness the most for. Number five, but I probably would think that number three is probably the best overall in terms of general gameplay and stuff. But I just love the way five looks so much. Just warms my cockles. Please use some spells. Please. Oh, let's do the Banshee how. I could even kill these. Here we go. There's a spell. It did a lot of damage. I got one spell out of her. What? She's got 30 mana. How's she got 30 mana? Okay, that's a trick. Five is very slow. Yeah. Slower than I remember it being. Oh, he's coming back, actually.
I guess I'm just a little biased towards number five, really. I mean, technically, I would think three is the better game, but I'm just biased towards five for some reason. I think archery. Not only archery, because later on there's an item that you can potentially get if it's still there. But, uh, yeah. I didn't take attack, so I don't know what I'm missing out if I take archery. I think archery will be fine under the circumstances. One five, one three. I knew you was going to try and make me fight this. I should have just saved it beforehand. Try a firewall. See if it does any damage. God, that's so annoying. I'm going to have to do that again then. What? What is wrong with you people? Five is good, but the graphics are terrible. The graphics are gorgeous. The graphics is one of the things that's actually the best about this game. Holds up insanely well. I think you guys are smoking some serious crack when you think Heroes of Might Magic 5 has bad graphics. Game Act came out in 2006 and still looks amazing today. Some serious crack has been smoking this very day. Yeah, that's not going to happen. There we go. Problem solved. More spell power for the computer if they get it. Hmm. Still alright. This has actually gone miraculously well. Like, this is like, even though the computer's still running around my territories, this is like best case scenario. This map can go even worse. 
There's no, like, comfort... Well, you're not really supposed to beat the computer. That's the thing. That's why I'm doing this. It's because I want to. I'm obsessed. I can't settle until I've beaten the computer. On heroic difficulty. Sure. There's nothing I've done with my hair. I don't do anything with my hair. What hair? Hey, these guys are going to join me. i got a feeling about it. They won't, because there's no creatures that join you on this map. But maybe, if they want to pay money for it. This reminds me of one of those levels where I had the computer. I was com kiting the computer for a bit. By going in and out of the subterranean gate. This one's a bit more difficult than that was, but... Yeah. I'm not kiting him forever. He's starting to get a bit impatient. Okay. Well, I'll take it. It's more experience as well. Closer towards level 20. I mean, holy shite. If I can get a few of these bases, just a couple of these bases, then get Town Portal, I can kill the, the strongest computers. Well, no, you can't. Because they just flee. No, you can't. You can't do that. That never works. You don't want to basically town portal, essentially, to deal with that. So who are they going for? They're going for the druids. So just go to the side. We'll do that. Those hunters can actually move a bit now. Wrecked. No! Oh! oh, thank God. I thought I was going to team kill. <laughs> panic. Pain and panic! Reporting for duty. Have I gone through the single player? Someone tells you the most frustrating and most rewarding experience. Yes, the campaign is brutally painful. But also, I, I kind of love doing it. The levels are way, way too long. Speaking of which, this level's probably gone on for a while now at this point, hasn't it? There you go. There's another base. So we secure that base. You can do what you want with it. But the main thing is you start moving to the next base and just try to keep the... The only way to get on top of the computer, like, you basically have a week or two to do this. You get to the second month, and then it all kicks off. Technically, I'm on the third month, so time has flown. But, yeah, it starts kicking off as soon as you get to the second month. Every move you make is very important. Because if you if you slack for just a bit too long, computer's just going to take complete advantage of that. I'm going to buy this. We're going to try to bait some spells. Hmm. Fine. May as well get the sparkling fountain if the computer wants to attack me that badly. Iranu. This one looks like they're coming back for another shot as well in a moment. There's not much point getting another character. Ten Mirke. Isn't he some Mirke? do it. Dun 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 dun.
Dun, 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 dun. I actually managed to kill a few units there, so it must have been the spells. You got any fireballs for me? I'll keep a couple split, just in case. Oh, they got a fair bit, actually. Well-rounded as well. 9-9. Nine, nine. Yeah, they actually... They could probably take my base. I don't think I can stop these. It's the bee swarm strategy. Mass haste, that's got to be 12 mana at least. No, maybe not. Stone Spikes is probably my best bet. I mean, if I kill that ore cart, then they can't use ranged. Unfortunately, I don't have enough damage to kill it. How much? 172. I've got to try to kill that ore cart. Oh, that would be so good if I could get that ore cart. Oh, I don't think I can survive another turn. I think my chances are very limited. No, no chance. It's not going to happen. I can get the ore cart, I suppose, when they attack. Right. Of course you say defeat, but look how much they lost. This means it can be done, I think. You just got to play it right. So, let's split our range units. Something like that will do, I think. We just gotta They get four shots, which isn't much. They're gonna do a lot of damage though with those shots, but Hey. Hey! Can't target for some reason. Oh well, whatever. There you go. We got five shots. I could actually put this guy forward as bait for the dragons. And then I get attacks from inside. If they want to fall for it. One to three or one. Feels like a shame to hit the ore, because I know he can do more damage. He's doing 324 damage to that damn thing. And this has only got 100 health. But I suppose once you get rid of it, you've got rid of it. I might even be able to kill it with these guys if I do stone spiked. I just kill it over time sort of thing, so I might try that. We've got stone spikes there. And then another stone spikes will do the trick. There we go. Although he came over and hit... Oh, you sneaky bugger. They got big damage on my dragon there. You sneaky fucker. Well, I may as well attack with the dragon now and take the hit. It's not like he can do much else, is it? Let's get him, boys. Let's punch him. 
punish that dragon. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I think they can kill me with just the spells alone, actually. Maybe the quick combat killed more units. Still a lot of mana. I felt like the quick combat definitely went better, didn't it? I have no idea what they do in the quick combat, but they magically somehow managed to... It's not like a computer, it just doesn't go ham on trying to punish them. down. There's no way I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to load, because I have to assume that that autosave was way... That quick combat was way better. So I've got to lose that base, which is annoying. It's a bit better. Congratulations, you got the base. Took you long enough. I was supposed to buy a tavern here, is actually to pick up this stuff around here. Elephant man. Hmm, they haven't even taken the stuff here. Alright, let's go get the bottom left bit. If I get all the un underground bases, then they're fucked. Because they can't come back. They have to win at the top against me. So, really my win condition is just to take all the underground bases. And, I mean, generally speaking, that's how you beat blue on this map. If it's possible. Because I still don't know. But, um... Well, if you're playing on an easier difficulty, it's almost definitely possible. But, uh, yeah, you take... You just hold out as long as you can on the top bases, which is harder than it looks. And you kill them at the underground, and then you can work your way back up to take your bases from the top.
haven't got the balls to fight me at the moment. Stranger meet his dragon. Oh, God. Please, no. Please, no, stop it. It's going to be some annoying little rat trying to get up there. Stop being annoying. Maybe I actually take the top side and do the underground bit. Because this is actually, there's a long path going down there. I need to kill as many of these rats as possible. Did I pick Lorgs? Logistics, yes. I don't know if you can beat this without logistics and pathfinding. That's if pathfinding actually makes a difference down here. If it doesn't, then yes, you don't need it. If it does, then you absolutely need it. Yeah, I think it does make a difference. You see how slow these other characters are moving? See, this is what made it so painful the other times I tried. So I didn't have a uh, pathfinding. I got logistics, then I got scouting, then I got silent stalker, and I never got pathfinding offered ever, ever again. It was never an option. They took it away from me. Check it out. She's actually looking kind of strong, so I'll give her some more support. She's looking like a strong woman. Where'd the computer go? It went all the way up there. Yeah, it knew, didn't it? It knew to start running. A lane is coming. thing is you've got to be really smart with your money on this level as well because even when you can see I'm stacking up so much gold it goes down so quickly and it's only been up so high because I've managed to keep that many bases for so long which has given me that much extra gold like can't under you know I can't like state just how important it is to do like everything exactly right on this otherwise it's just one of those maps that's just stupidly punishing because you're not really supposed to win it. You're supposed to just, like, survive against the computer whilst you're trying to get the Tears of Ashe. get a dragon set. Maybe. Stranger could meet his dragon. Also, there's the bag of endless gold. That'll, put, that'll pay off for itself within 10 days. The worst thing about losing on this map is that damn music. You have to listen to it for longer because the computer has more bases. I hate that music so much. Alright. Go get your uh, bag of gold.
get out of here. And stay out. Now I'm going to have my own little rats running around. See how you like it. Ah, see, they start to buy my units as well, because they seem to have, like, unlimited gold. They can surrender, like, countless times, and still sort of have tons of gold left over to buy all these units. Despite not even having that many bases. Like, they have a lot of bases, but they don't seem to do anything with them or, you know, upgrade them and that kind of stuff. Somehow the fairies are always getting focused. Nice. be roasting some hydras. Yes. Uh, top right and bottom left, I agree. Although, bottom right, potentially. But they didn't have, like, the neutral resources around the bottom right. See, they've done some upgrading here now for me, which is nice. Oh, good. Plus one knowledge. Just what I need. Oh, there's another dragon item. Okay, I'll be back in a moment.
actually a lot of good artifacts to buy. Don't think you're going to get all the dragon set though. But it's tempting to just sort of buy those, but I still got to beat the computer with units as well. Okay. Maybe those succubus want to join now. But on my conditions. Or well, I'm not paying an arm and a leg for it. Poor sprites. My OCD compels me to collect everything, even though that's not efficient. Does a set bonus even work? No, that's true. I don't think it works. Because this is the base here as a Might Magic 5 game. Heaven. I love the treants so much. Normally I'll put everything into upgrading them, even if it's like some crappy plus one treant a week, but as you can see, I, I couldn't afford it really, so I had to say no. I had to step up and not take them. I might be stronger than the computer now. God damn, that ballista. That pesky ballista, man. Oh my god. There's just no way to win versus that ballista. Oh, she gets a second shot as well. That's crazy. Yeah, that blister's dumb as hell. Yeah. Turns out these are quite spicy, these uh, succubi. Just doesn't pay to uh, attack them. At all. Oh, he's level 20 now. No, Chloe, it's not. Too lazy to manually combat it. I've, been, I've only been manually combating for like three hours now, so I've got to stop doing it at some point. Oh yeah. It actually tells you how much gold they got as well. She has 122... Thousand gold. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. I am well and truly on point to win this now, finally. Damn straight. Damn bloody straight. Hell. It's about down to... I actually can't believe, to some degree, that it is actually still possible. Like, I, I feel like this is... Because I've had tries before and it's just gone so bad. But this is by far the best try I've done.
normally doesn't make for a good... I mean, it makes for a good YouTube video now, but like when you're trying to record it, and you're just going to inevitably lose because you don't know the map perfectly. Or perfectly enough. Here's my Magic 5 levels are so long as well, so when you lose them, it's like, oh. But really, it's not supposed to be played for like a one and done. But that's kind of how I have to record these games, is like a one and done kind of experience. I don't really do like multitudes of parts. And even then, you could do multitude of parts, and the last part you still fail. It's more definitely just for a single player, really. You know? Let's go get that base back. No one's killed those Arc Magi yet. Computer's trying to make a comeback underground. We'll see about that. Sunny Jim. I'm going to come over here and deal with that computer. Faffing about here. Actually, it's not too bad. That's a bit worse. This guy should... I mean, that's their strongest one. Yeah, let's trap her. In quotation marks. And then she'll just surrender and disappear. She going, she going hard and fast. Look at that. I can smell the desperation. Should just get the mage guilds up actually, so I can get town portal. Oh, this one actually has got level four mage, I think level five. So I should definitely get town portal now. Make it difficult, shall we? Yay. It's pizza day today for me. Stranger meet his pizza. There we go. Town portal. That's a biggie, that is. That's a biggie. I can probably just get rid of those because they've got a negative effect on me now. And I'll take the rangers. Mass rangers and dragons. And strangers. Oh, look at that. The enemy has fled from the battle. You get to kill nothing. Hmm, what a surprise. It's almost like it's rigged. I'll just take it. You know, I never did get the full mage guild down here, did I? To see if I get Conjure Phoenix. That's the wrong way, <laughs> Sinatar. That's the wrong way. Yeah, you can have that bottom base. See how long you get to keep it for, eh? See, I can send her down now as well to help clear out the middle. That will help. So she can go to the top left, and my guy can come to the bottom right, and then we both go towards the bottom left. And then that'll be blue dealt with forever. Forever and ever and ever. Yeah, 
Oh, they're starting to make a go for the right hand side now. They would do that earlier, but I think I've kept them so busy they haven't been able to do it. I never even got that much use out of summoning magic, did I? At least I got the defense and stuff. That was definitely useful. And attack. You could potentially get use out of summoning magic, but I think it's too difficult. Because you've got to get Conjure and Phoenix. and Like I say, there's only one opportunity. This base at the top where I had that at level 5. And it didn't have Conjure Phoenix. So if you're lucky, you get it. But you only really get like one shot. Otherwise resources won't let you do it. Or you'll be wasting too much time trying to get everything to Mage Guild level 5. Look how fast she's moving. Oh, the downside of that guy dying is he had that 1,000 gold a day. Glory to the true house, absolutely. Trash. Look, both of them. Resurrection and Armageddon. It's so rigged. It is so rigged. Hey, thank you very much for the sub, Magic Palace. No thank you. Yeah. That's good to have good to be back. But this map is insanely rigged if you basically try to build for a spellcaster. Whatever you pick. Or maybe I've just been unlucky every time, but whatever you pick, it always gives you the spells that ain't gonna bloody be any use. Oh wow! Because she's stuck in the base, I actually get to kill her. Without her fleeing. I'll take it. We get all our artifacts as well now. Dragon. Huh. I don't think that stacks with Pathfinder in that one. Otherwise, that would be insanely good as well for this map. <laughs> I don't even have Advanced Adventure, let alone like the latest version of it. Highest version of it. Yeah. Yeah. Where you at, computer? Where you at? See, look at how quick that turn was. Oh, 
Hey, there's a phoenix. Got to go up here to get it. May as well get it. Not that I think I'm going to need it now. Oh, there's a phoenix here as well. Okay. We're doing it. It's actually happening. And there's a phoenix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there's obviously a phoenix everywhere now, isn't there? You can see how useful that phoenix has been then. Right, that's it. Blue's out. The only thing that always confused me on this is where are the two signposts underground? Because I know where one of them is. But I don't know where the other one is. Right? Where's the second signpost? They are, they aren't easy to see, but does anyone know where the second signpost is? There should be one on this side here. See a signpost there? <gasps> There's a signpost there. Uh... Right, cool. We can just blast through this now. But basically, I'd done exactly what it was I wanted to do. Where I become wiser. I'm not sure that such a place exists for you. Very funny. But there are such places in these lands. Somewhere. So I don't think he has to be the one to get the signpost. There's a signpost behind that tree, which is why I'm going this way. The City of the Fallen is waiting for you. Who's that? Can't be anyone I know. They're all dead. Nature's rough. That's the plus one to range damage, which is good. But it's for Sylvan units only, I think. Which is a bit of a shame. Because it'd be good if it was for these as well. All Sylvan creatures in Ranger's army. Okay. Come over to the right hand side. Now imagine how slow that is without pathfinding. So there's a signpost here. I'll just show you where everything is. Signpost here. Is 
This is the other elven base. Oh, I should have got scouting, actually. I'll do that, because it'll just give me a bit more fission. Although I think you can buy a map as well. Then there's a signpost down here. That's uh, interesting. I don't know if that's a guarantee that they join you. But maybe. I have had a couple of troops on this side of the map try to join me when I attack them. So you can come over, because that's what I actually did in one of my original playthroughs of this map, is I came over to... I think they're just all doing it now, because it just it's the hip thing to do. But uh, I actually came over to the right-hand side really early-ish. Like, I did... I did the left-hand side. There you go, that gives me more information and more scouting. I did the... Uh, Left hand side and then went over straight to the right. I didn't really do like the underground stuff because that's where the computer was, so I avoided it. But that's the mistake I made was by avoiding the computer. I let them get too strong because they do. They get way too strong if you don't try to sort of control them. There's a that's a, not a signpost, that's just a skeleton. There's no signpost there. So here's Cartographer. This will take you back to the base over here. So there's not much left on the map, if you can see. There will be a um, signpost over here. Ah! See, those joined me last time. So they must be fixed to join. You are two steps away from heaven. Tread carefully. And this is a fixed item because that was the same one that was there. Which was part of the reason why I was tempted to sort of come over to the right hand side. You could, if you can pick up that, pick up the Inquisitors, pick up the bow and then go back underground. That could make a big difference for fighting the computer. There's a few ways you can do it, I can see. But I wouldn't like count on them as being guarantees. So obviously this item is insanely good, which is just, like, it's beyond insane if you've got range units. Then you got to come here. Tavern. <gasps> I thought that was uh, the lady that I was fighting before. Sure, everyone else is. These guys are fixed by the looks of it. So you got to attack these guys because they are guarding a secret. And there's a stranger meets dragon. And here's the, potentially the last signpost. Yeah, unless I've missed one. Shade your eyes. So that still hasn't given me information. So perhaps I missed one. But I hate this level if it doesn't do what I think it does. What it should do is, once you've collected all the signposts, it should just pinpoint where it is. Because otherwise, it's way better having the puzzle map. Puzzle map's not shown. So, there's supposed to be ten of these, right? So you got one signpost. Two signposts. Three. 
free signpost. Then you go underground. Four signposts. There shouldn't be anything over here. Nothing else in the middle. Five signposts, if I'm counting correctly. So then you come out of here, six signposts, seven signposts, eight signposts, nine signposts, and ten signposts. So that is all of them. Looks like you need to visit them in the right order. Oh my god, and you got to do it in the right order as well. Quest log seems to hint. So the last, so you have to be able to decipher this on top of dealing with how strong the computer is if you're playing on this difficulty. The City of the Fallen is waiting for you. So is that the one at the bottom left here? Because when I went over here, the signpost said come over here. Where you'll be safe. Where is the City of the Fallen? You can imagine how much of a headache this was doing this like the first time. With all the fret from the computer. So, th it's an interesting idea, but the fact that you have to do it in order as well, just getting 10 of these signposts is insanely difficult. But doing it all in a specific order as well, whilst not dying, where you'll be safe. Oh, where you'll be safe. Well, that is the Sanctuary one. But I wouldn't thought the Sanctuary was the City of the Fallen. But yeah, I guess that's the next clue. Where you'll be safe. Oh, I see. So it updates as you go. It should really make it clearer that you are actually making progress. And it is updating. <coughs> Excuse me. Where a part flows into the hole. That one's a bit clearer, at least. A bit, yes, but I would still prefer a detailed map and signpost. So would I. So I would assume this this one is the last one then. But you think what about these signposts over here? It just kind of skipped past those. Where a part flows into the hole. Why not town portal? It depends. You can only town portal to the one that's closest to you. Sometimes it's just quicker just to move. You can't choose which one you town portal to. I'll try this one over here and see if it does it. Shade your eyes. No, that's not right then. Let's 
see if I town portal here or take me underground. Or not. I don't think it's this one. That's like the gold mine one. This, like, a part flows into a hole, maybe. Anything that's close to the river. And this was their clearest one, apparently. See farther, get closer. Well, that I can see farther, but there's no signpost near there. So I'll try this one here. I don't think it's got to be the gold mine, but that's the one that's closest to that portal from the cartographer. Oh, see farther is actually... No, I'm not stuck. I'm actually finishing this map officially once and for all. On the heroic difficulty. Near impossible difficulty. This is the one that sees father. So this has to be it. Because this is where it ends anyway. Spoiler. Filthy Lecrer. Yeah, whoever created this map was trying to be way too clever. So, basically, you dig here, roughly. Maybe it's directly underneath it. Yeah, it must be directly underneath it. And uh, that's job done. This map has finally been beaten. Nope, never mind. Even then... <laughs> Next, next one. Oh my god. What the hell? It is in here because this is where I dug it from last time. I just can't remember specifically the, <laughs> the spot it needs to be. Oh my god. This can't be right. Is this glitched? How many hours did it take here? Yeah? Well, this... Probably a uh, multitude of hours, yes. On this run, I think it's closer to four hours or something. Oh my god. What is happening? Hmm. Interesting. Am I going to dig on the same spot? I think this is bugged. Because I'm I sure I, I, I only had to dig once when I was here before. And I got it. Yeah, you can't dig again. Because it's already dug. I don't get it. Filthy Lecreur. Short and to the point. Maybe it's still other signposts. Yeah. Oh, bugger. I can't go back a save, can I? So, can I actually dig again? Once it's been done, I might not even be able to dig there once I find all the other signposts. Oh, you see how much, like, this map, honest to God, they should not have made this the first map scenario, because I almost never came back to this game after I played this the first time I was so angry. Oh, this is Filthy Lecro. This made me so angry. So angry. Only people with 150 plus IQ can beat this map, or at least understand this part of it. The way up will get you there. Yeah. 
In the darkness of the dungeons, the fallen cannot see past their nose. But I've been there already. Am I as blind as a dark elf? Next time, I'll bring brighter torches. I thought we did the two that were underground there. Well, that one led to the top. And I did this one and got a little cinematic, so... No, I certainly won't upload my other attempts to YouTube. No loitering. So that doesn't answer it. In the darkness of the dungeons, the fallen cannot see past their nose. I don't know. Like, I don't even know. And we what? Feel free to call a gold mine near the town. The way up will get you there. Subterranean gate near the town of Doraga. The story ends. Oh. This can't be right. What was the next one? In the darkness of the dungeons, the fallen cannot see past their nose. Well, I've already shown there's ten signposts, and I think there's only ten in total. There's two signposts underground. And we've seen both of them. This map is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god, it's still not right. I don't know. Go back to sign free near the crypt. Well, that's the closest one near the crypt. Oh, I did... Yeah, but I did that. I did that. No. Oh, it worked that time. Hmm. It's a crypt, it may be yours. I don't know if I'll try other scenarios. It was hard enough doing this. Yeah. So is it in a different place? Are the signs random then? That's kind of clever, but also insane. Ah, eh? this is a different place than where I got it the last time. For Silana and the Harmony, and a long walk home. Wow. Ah, oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. It's done, though. There it is. There it is. Thanks for watching. That's been a tear of Ossia. For Ossia. On the heroic difficulty. A brutally painful map. But I proved my point and killed that blue, which is what I set myself to do. So I'll see you later. Take care.